Hi everyone, Dean from Real Estate Dynamics and I have Stefan with me from Campaign Tracker, Hi as folks. we can see, CEO. Now I wanted to ask, there's not, I don't see a whole lot of uh, that material up here in Queensland, but down south through, my first one was Gavin Rubenstein, um, I've seen some sensational material. So I was talking to your camera just before, why did Campaign Tracker start? So, well, it's campaign track, not campaign, campaign tracker. track. Sorry, so that, that, track. That's all good. Um, yeah, people do call us all sorts of names. Sorry. So most mostly good ones. The, uh, campaign track is a platform that really allows agents to do flawless marketing campaigns for property and for themselves. So yep. we started off, uh, I guess, allowing uh, print advertising, brochures and signs and things like that to be able to be organised and managed just through a web browser. Yep. Uh, and uh, you know we have, um, I guess, a very large market share uh, in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, the biggest platform platform you know, by a very substantial margin. The premise is, uh, I guess, convenience and also uh, brand perfect advertising every time and, and you know, cost of execution is, is a lot, lot lower than dealing with uh, you know, um, 10 different technology stacks, you know, one for your brochure supplier, one for your sign, one for your uh, newspaper, one for your photographer, etc. Your campaign track puts everything in one spot. In and most recently, as you'll see from our little backdrop there, uh, we are now all about digital marketing and the industry has done a massive pivot in that yep. area. So uh, you didn't, how long ago did you start? So Campaign Track um, has been around um, in various guises for over 20 years now. Oh, really? So we are, you know, we, we so are veterans. So we've evolved each time. We've evolved, uh, and each time, you know, as, as uh, print went from black and white to colour, we were there when signboards started really? to get images on them. We were the first people in the market with that sort of product. Uh, you know, with the digital marketing that goes beyond the portals, as yep. we like to say, you know, we, we've developed uh, a product that's, you know, first to market, most capable in its space, and we're rolling that out at, at uh, pace at the moment. Yep. Um, and because we're a company that we've now grown to 450 staff, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, we're pretty really? much, yes, we're in every state in Australia and in New Zealand. And, that's and my ignorance about that, I apologise for no, that. No, that's, yeah, that's yeah. all right. Most people, you know, they, they maybe know that we do certain things, but they don't know the scale of the animal. And uh, you know, really, we, you know, that's... So what, what would be the volume within that? So do you do all of this, you know, like do you do, do video, do you do the... Yeah, so basically Campaign Track can manage absolutely every part of your marketing. Some clients just use it as a management platform and don't buy a single thing off us. They would yep. simply use Campaign Track as a central place. Because that software. Yes, it's that. a software platform. Yep. But we also have divisions uh, that produce photography, copywriting, signboards, brochures, print, uh, and, of, and of course digital marketing, which is really the, you know, the, the really the most exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. flagship yep. uh, area yep. at the moment, the one that the industry is most excited with. Um, and because Campaign Track, I think uh, on average about 350,000 properties per annum go through Campaign Track uh, wow. one way or another. So it might be somebody's just ordering a signboard, or it could be entire marketing campaigns that get quoted to vendors that then get executed. That might buy a brochure from here, a sign from there, using you know whatever yeah. uh, photographer they choose. Uh, you know, managing the costings, managing the the payments, uh, really everything all in one spot. All and of that back in. Everything can be in one spot. In yeah, to and of course you know you can. Design Design your artwork through a browser. Yep. You can uh, you can task manage. It's really really simple to use. So it's a productivity um, based thing, but it's also about brand execution. There's this you know uh, most most yeah. of the sophisticated brands in the market um, that operate at scale uh, use our platform, or at least a lot of their offices use our platform because they can get things done really really simply. They can do rebrands nationally in a heartbeat, and of course know that everything's going to look right. Yep. The brand can't be butchered, and also um, that's you know, a key ping because you know they want to sort of open up to some of their agencies and agents to be able to do some of their own creative flair in it but they don't want to no. give them some guidelines of that we no. don't want the wrong colors in there and they want the logo this size and that's true and, and it, look it's interesting that you say that too because what we found for example in the digital space and we really think that that's the most important thing the industry has to pivot has yeah. to start to do some digital that is about them and not about the major portals you know i think real estate the common domain are a great way to find a buyer but they're a terrible way to brand yourself and they aren't the only way to find buyers you know yeah. facebook and google are very good at finding buyers and sellers as well uh, so we think that you know the real estate industry is ready now to do something more and then just say that their uh, internet strategy is oh but we've listed it here on this portal we've listed it on that portal um, but interestingly enough, um, 
now that there's quite a lot of people offering to do things on Facebook and Google, what we're finding is that there's really nobody out there apart from us that said, well, look, your brand looks like this. So why are you running an ad look that looks like mm. that, that's got somebody yeah. else's logo on the bottom of it, or maybe doesn't even have your yeah. logo on it at all, or is some generic template that's got a logo in the top left corner. Given that the scale of the number of ads that you're going to be serving through yeah. a, a, you know, a digital campaign is in the thousands, often in the hundreds yeah. of thousands, uh, it's so much more important to have that done right. And most agents and principals haven't yet had that light bulb moment uh, that, wow, well why, okay, digital marketing, I'm all in on that, it's really cost effective, my vendors love it, uh, so if I choose this product here, well my ads don't even look like they're mine, uh, which is crazy. So, you know, this is where campaign, at Campaign Tracks Heart yep. is a brand uh, delivery engine. Um, yep. And then, of course, you layer over the top of that, uh, particularly with the digital marketing. Now, you can do some really clever stuff where you know we find buyers and we find sellers who are doing stuff online, on Facebook and on Google that uh, you know set off all the flags for saying, look, I'm a buyer and I like big houses in Suburbville, or I'm a, I'm a seller, I'm researching the market. Yep. So I'm doing searches or I'm looking at properties uh, in this particular area, etc. And with the power that exists in these uh, platforms at like Facebook and Google, um, you know, you really can do some incredible stuff. Um, we can really narrow it down. You can to, narrow it down, yeah. and you know, we would like to think that you know, uh, clever principals mm. are going to start to go. Look, we we get a signboard on every listing. We mm. get a photo for every listing. We're doing a brochure for every listing. We should be doing Facebook and Google. Obviously, yep. I'd like you to buy my Facebook and Google. Uh, but if you buy Facebook and Google uh, from um, anybody, you're doing something that. Um, you know, is I guess disintermediating the major portals. Uh, you know, as we know yeah. that there is significant price pressures every year. They put their price up, uh, and the reason they do that is because the industry has just gone. Well, we don't do digital. We're going to leave it all to you. Yeah. And of course, they're sitting ducks. You know, you know, the industry is now in a position where the price goes up 10 or 20 percent per annum, and they kind of need to suck it up. The, the really bad thing about that is though that uh, you know there is less and less money that can be put aside for other types of marketing that are to the benefit of the agent and the agency. To do uh, profile, to yeah. do profile yeah. building, as well as obviously mm. finding buyers and sellers through other means. So, so that's why we're excited about you know what we're doing, and you know our standard Eric, we we're actually not talking about any of our other products, and we you know obviously we're not talking about the campaign track platform, we're not talking about the other things that we could do for you, because it's really all about this, and obviously in order to get this, you need to use campaign track, even if you just use it to buy this. Um, but I think the industry is at a point now where if it doesn't change, it's gonna get run over. Uh, it's gonna, you're gonna end up being salespeople for the major portals. Uh, you know, you're gonna be paying to get your face on the major you portals made, here, that was a, made a bit bigger. Uh, you know, I, I believe one of the portals now will charge you happily each month to make your face a bit bigger in the agent rankings. And what we, we do is say, well, look, Get the ownership back on because you. of course once everybody in your area is paying for a bigger face then of course it's like what happens with the uh, the uplifts in the ad yep. sizes now every everybody's doing it in your area really you're not actually getting perfect. you're yeah. literally not yeah. getting anything for it and you know I, I've had so many agents tell me that they actually can't detect a difference in the actual amount of genuine inquiry from a an upsized listing on a major portal versus a normal listing because people who are actual genuine buyers they know what they want they know their price point, yep. they know if it's a house or a unit, they know how many bedrooms they want, they put those uh, parameters in, there's one page, and you look at every single listing. You don't go, I'm only gonna click on the one that's got a, a slightly bigger photo. You look at every single one. So if you look at the opportunity- You can hear there's some energy there. And we're there's a lot of energy, Directly yes. across from REA as an example, but competition is good. Competition is good, also yes. what you're doing is you're allowing that to come back to the ownership is back to the agent yep. and you're helping them to give them the tools yep. to be able to manage that yep. looks like from the outside manage it themselves but you're really the one it's, it's completely you're automated on. basically yeah. so so it does obviously it does uh, ad delivery at scale using Facebook and Google into the local area around the listing around the agency yep. and uh, the other thing we do is that we build the agents uh, agencies data directly for them so things like when somebody clicks on an ad uh, they go into what's called an audience uh, a remarketing bucket on Facebook and Google. They both have different versions of that. Our technology takes care of that automatically. But you know, you click on a big house that you're selling in a suburb, and next week you get another house in the same suburb or one of the surrounding suburbs. The person who clicked on that big house, well, 
they've indicated an interest, interest in big houses. Yep. So this is where remarketing comes into it. And it works in real estate uh, every bit as effectively as it does with uh, regular property. Big, a big, sorry to cut across, yep. but is that a big uh, part of what you're doing is re-educating, or not re-educating, but educating yes. in this digital yes. space as far as because they don't... Uh, I, I, owners of businesses don't know what they're no, they know. don't. They don't, and they don't know how to start, and they think it's, it's hard. Big. It's yeah, big, it and, and then of course you've got the whole. Well, I'm doing something on Facebook. I'm doing posts on Facebook. Social media content and ads are not the same. Yep. Uh, with our platform, we do both simultaneously. So, for example, you might approve an ad campaign, and it'll automatically put posts on your Facebook page uh, and your office's Facebook page, so you don't have to. Uh, but that content will have the right photos, the right copy, the right text. It'll have a link in there that will go back to the uh, to the listing on the internet, so that you know you can. A, turn on retargeted marketing, but B, they can then see additional content, floor plans, photos, videos, whatever else. Yep. All of those things mixed together, and I think, uh, you know, if you try to do it all yourself, it'd be like trying to take your own photos, write your own copy, sign write your own sign board. I mean, you know... Look, get... and that, that's a perfect opportunity. Um, yesterday, very much, they were talking about teams and about specialists within teams, and even Tom Ferry talked about how that side of it will up you know that here is what an individual does and here is what a group does yep. that when there's four or five in the team and they're all got a specialist task you know that they're showing instead of doing 700k you're doing 2.3 million yep. as an example absolutely so you've got a lot of energy you've got a lot of expertise we can see the passion as far as here if they want they just reach out as far yes, as campaignchuck.com um, yep. uh, or you can google Stephen Williams yep. uh, campaign track I'll put his link in the LinkedIn. That'll be fabulous. Yeah, this. but look, you know, we're, we're about, I guess, disrupting the way digital marketing works. We think there's a huge opportunity, and the agents have already come on board, uh, and we've uh, tweaked our prices now so that effectively it's a no-brainer. You can do something on every single listing. It's not hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars just like you can on a uplifted listing in REA or Domain and, and, a, and a double page spread in the newspaper. Yep. But you can start under two hundred dollars. Put something on every listing. The vendors love it. So this whole notion of real estate agents being nervous about introducing another thing to their vendors. When you say to their vendors, oh look, I'd like to include it sub $200 to do something on Facebook or Google or both. Um, and you can track your it vendors aren't as, surprised. Yeah. You know, I, I think that agents that don't do something like that are going to actually be at a disadvantage. But I would say this: it's very easy to choose a ticker box exercise where you might just choose a product that doesn't promote you, doesn't drive data to your brand, and doesn't build your data. To say I'm doing something on Facebook or I'm doing something on Google, um, but it needs if, to be integrated. If it's just a ticker box yeah. exercise, then then why are you doing it? Yeah. And are you really trying to drive more traffic to somebody else's website? Are you trying to build somebody else's clicks? Are you trying to build somebody else's data? Yeah. Uh, and and the answer is you shouldn't be doing any of that. You should be trying to build your brand in your local area, your data, your clicks, um, because that's Some how you really become web points. famous. Yep. And uh, you know, uh, before you know it people will be calling you and you will be seeing your face and your properties everywhere. And the cool thing is somebody clicks on one of your properties, starts to see more of your properties. You look very pervasive. You look like you're a successful agency or a successful agent and uh, you get more appraisals. It's yep. that simple. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you Cheers. very much. Bye. Bye-bye.